It's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing another review. Today I'll be reviewing manga realization Wingman. Wingman comes from the 1984 show Yume Senshi Wingman, also known as Dream Soldier Wingman. When Kenta, a young nerd who has dreams of becoming a hero of justice, encounters the princess of the dreamscape, his dreams of becoming a hero are finally realized through the use of the dream note. The dream note is a magical book that can make any dream come true. Kenta draws a hero of his own creation and Wingman is the dream note. From that moment on, Kenta becomes Wingman, the hero of justice he always wanted to be. Be sure to check out the 1984 show, Yume Senshi Wingman is a great show. Manga Realization Wingman is another fantastic release in the Manga Realization line. Wingman has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic pay applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's take a look at Wingman's accessories. Wingman comes with a pair of open hands, a pair of holding hands, one individual chopping hand, one dream note, a pair of barrier edge swords, one alternate back piece, one pair of wings, and one solar garter armor set. So first, let's take a look at the open hands. The open hands have a fantastic sculpt of paint ups going on, as you can see, a very nice flat black matte finish going on, and a very nicely detailed hand. Definitely very cool here. Next, we have the pair of holding hands. We have the same great sculpt and paint ups going on, so definitely very cool. Finally, we have the chopping hand here. Again, same great sculpt and paint ups going on, so absolutely fantastic. The hands attached via a ball joint peg system, so I'll grab our figure here. This time around, you'll notice the peg is actually on the hand itself, so it's pretty cool there. So we'll grab one of our holding hands, and we'll just kind of push this in like so, kind of focus all this as well. So we'll just push our new holding hand in, and that's it. So get that in, a very tight connection, so definitely very cool there, very nicely done. Our next accessory is the Dream Note. So the Dream Note here is an absolutely fantastic accessory, fantastic sculpt and pamps going on for the outside of the book. Very nicely detailed here. Also, the quill is attached and it's also removable too, so pretty cool. We can actually open up the Dream Note and what we see inside here, get this open, you'll see an illustration of Wingman as well as information on Wingman's signature move, the Delta N, so it's absolutely fantastic and definitely very cool. Our next accessory is the pair of Barrier Edge Swords. These are very nicely done. They have a very nice metallic silver paint up going on. Very nicely detailed here. Absolutely fantastic. Definitely very cool. Now how these are held, we'll actually separate the handle from the blade, so pull this apart like so. Grab our figure here, push the handle through the holding hand, so we'll just get that in like so, kind of focus all this as well. Like that, push it in like so, then reattach the top of the blade and that's it. So now, Wingman can slash his foes. So it's definitely very cool there. Very nicely done. Next, we have our alternate back piece. So it's pretty obvious what this is used for. So a pretty simple accessory. It has two big holes in the back. So we can focus all this. To attach this, we'll grab our figure, pop off the back panel here, like so. Put in our new back panel, and that's it. So pretty simple there. So. Now we have our pair of wings. The wings are very nicely done here. They have a very nice pearl white going on, but also 
it goes from a pearl white to a very nice translucent white. So definitely very cool here. Very nice detailed, very nice panel lines going on as well. Absolutely fantastic. Also, they have hinges here, so they're not a left or right oriented wing. So pretty cool there. So to attach this, we'll grab our figure here and we'll just kind of flip this this way. These peg into the holes in the back, push it in like so, and we'll get in as best we possibly can. And now, Wingman can actually fly, so it's definitely very cool. Very nicely done. Our final accessory is the set of Solar Garter Armor. So, first we have the leg armor here. Pretty cool there. A very nice metallic purple going on. Definitely very cool. Very nicely detailed. Next we have a part of the arms. As you can see, same great sculpt and pants going on. Definitely very cool. Then we have our chest piece here, again, same great sculpt and paint apps, absolutely fantastic, very nicely detailed. Then finally, we have our head piece here, absolutely fantastic, definitely very cool. Now to attach all this, we actually have to disassemble Wingman, so we're gonna get this started first. So what we'll do, we'll just pop everything out of the way here first. So just to get us started, we're gonna pull off the chest here, pop off one of the arms, so it just comes out like so. It can be tough at first, so we'll Get that out like that. Pop off one of our legs here. So pretty cool there. And then we'll actually pop up the head as well. So we'll put on our new head here like this. Whoops. It can be tight at first, so do be mindful of that. So we'll just kind of put on our new head as best we possibly can. It's very tight joint going on there. So just bear with me. So get this on as best we possibly can for right now. We're gonna get this all straight in just a few moments, put in our new arm here, and we're gonna pop on one of our new legs here. And you must push the leg in until it clicks, otherwise the wingman will not stand up straight with his armor on. So we'll just push this in all the way until it clicks, so we have that. Grab our new chest piece here and put it in like so. So right now, you get the gist of what we're doing here. So. Let's take a moment to attach all the Solar Garter armor set to Wingman. So now we have Wingman equipped with the Solar Garter armor set and it looks absolutely fantastic. As you can tell, this armor set is simply stunning, very nicely detailed, and very nicely painted. Makes Wingman look very strong and powerful. Absolutely fantastic there. Also, if we zoom in here, we can actually open up the chest panels here to reveal a pair of beam cannons. So it's simply stunning here and definitely very cool. Very nicely detailed as well. Absolutely fantastic there. Also, this armor set comes with a pair of accessories. Kind of zoom out some. So for the first of the accessories, we have a pair of forearm blades here. These are very nicely done. A very nice translucent magenta for the blade here. Very nice metallic silver and purple for the forearm portion here. Absolutely fantastic. To attach this, we'll grab our figure here. Pop off this initial forearm guard here. Grab our blade here. All we have to do, we'll kind of keep this all in focus as best we possibly can. For the blade, all we have to do just line it up and then tip in the top portion first, and that's it. So now Wingman can slash his foes in his new armored state. Definitely very cool there. The final accessory is the back panel here. So the back panel here is a very simple accessory, and this is meant for the sake of continuity. So pretty simple piece. So how this comes into play, we'll grab our figure here, pop off the first back panel here. going to focus all of this. That reveals two large peg holes, so pretty cool there. We'll grab one of our wings, Push our wing in like so, and that's it for that. So pretty cool there. And then we'll grab our new back panel here, focus all this, and then we'll just go ahead and push that in. And this is more for the sake, again, of continuity if you have the wings attached. So pretty cool there. So now let's take one moment to put Wingman in a very nice flying pose. So now we have Wingman in a very nice flying pose and looks absolutely fantastic. Wingman with his solar garter armor, plus the wings attached, looks simply stunning. I really do wish we had a way to put Wingman in a seamless flying pose, but at the end of the day, what we have here is still very cool. Now that we have the accessories out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the Wingman figure itself. Wingman has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic panel applications, and a fantastic range of articulation. So first, to start with the head. We can look up, down, left, right. Let's pop off this chest piece to get into the arms here. For the shoulders, full 360 rotation going on. The arms come out 90 degrees. There's an entire arm swivel going on. We have very nice double jointed elbows. The fists can tilt and spin freely because they're pegged in. For the chest here, we can lean slightly forwards, slightly backwards, twist side to side and lean side to side. For the waist, we can twist side to side. For the legs, we kick forwards about this much. 
backwards this much and out to the sides this much. There's an upper thigh swivel going on. We have very nice double jointed knees. The feet can tilt and swivel and the toes are articulated as well. We have a very nice hyper articulated wingman figure. It's definitely very cool. Put this chest piece right back in there. In terms of sculpted paint apps, this figure is absolutely fantastic. However, there's one thing to note. This is not wingman's true form. Kind of focus this all together. Now, the mongrelization line is a spinoff of the SIC line. And as we all know, the SIC line is well known for its more mature sculpts based on our favorite characters. So this time around, we have a very nice, very mature wingman figure. So it's definitely very cool. So let's get in here pretty close for the head here. We have a very nice, vibrant blue crest going on. So absolutely fantastic there. Also, the edges become translucent as you go further out. So it's very cool there. A very nicely detailed sculpt going on for the helmet. Absolutely fantastic. Very nice metallic silver finish for the mouth guard. Simply stunning here. A very nice black matte finish for parts of the body too. So definitely very cool. Nice muscular sculpt. For the chest here again, we have that very cool technique where it is solid in the center and then translucent on the edges. Absolutely fantastic there. Very nicely done and very nicely detailed. Nice metallic silver for the shins and the feet here. Absolutely fantastic. Focus all this. You'll see too, for the belt, we have our blue, yellow, and red. Then on the back here, a very nice vibrant blue going on, so definitely very cool here. This figure is absolutely fantastic and very nicely detailed. Very nicely done. So, now that we have the wingman figure out of the way, let's go ahead and conclude this review. To conclude the review, Mongrelization Wingman is another fantastic release in the Mongrelization line. Wingman has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I highly recommend everyone picks this figure up. Now, do be warned, this figure is an older release, so it can be hard to track this figure down. Also, do not be fooled by bloated prices, do not pay more than $50 for this figure. And then finally, be sure to check out the 1984 show, You May Sense You Wingman, it's a great show. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe.